She is dedicated to Nishbas Rav Chaleya, Bas Rav Chaim Tzvi. Okay, we're in the middle of our discussion of Hilchos Muks. In the last year, you might recall, we discussed and spent a lot of time discussing uh, books and various kinds of uh, literature that you're allowed to or not allowed to read on Shabbos. We got into... Um, business circulars and business magazines, uh, the business section of a newspaper, all of that, which is what we call Shtori Hediotos, and that is not allowed to be read on Shabbos, and since you're not allowed to read it on Shabbos, it has a status of a Kli Shemalach Tol Iser, which cannot be moved on Shabbos, either would be, have a status of Muksa. Then we spoke about the Iser of uh, reading other kinds of uh, literature that's not considered to be uh, business in orientation, what the Shulchan Aruch describes in Simen Shin Zayin as Melitzos, Mishalim, Divrei Cheshek, all different kinds of, uh, if you will, casual reading material. We saw the Chiddush of the Ramah, who says if it's written in Lashna Kodesh, then it's permissible. And, uh, and the Mechaber, who does not accept that, uh, who doesn't bring that down, but the Ramah says, and that's how we would assume, if it's written in Lashna Kodesh, that's a mitzvah kala, to read even, um, even uh, Stam novels, Stam books, if they're written in Lashna Kodesh, so that would be permissible. However, uh, the, um, if it's written in English or in a language that uh, that's not uh, Lashna Kodesh, so there the Shulchan Aruch indicates that uh, that one should not be reading this, even perhaps on Chol, it's not exactly appropriate, but certainly on Shabbos is not appropriate. And uh, we looked at, what about Sifrei Chachma, if it's something that has uh, Chachma, that's, uh, that's an intellectual kind of endeavor that brings one to perhaps a Hakaras Abore, biology books, science books, perhaps studying for a test, if one cares about the Chachma itself, that might be Mutter. We discussed newspapers on Shabbos and uh, the issues surrounding newspapers. That was our whole discussion last week. I'll just cap it off with a uh, non hilchos Muksa point, which is discussed and mentioned in the Shulchan Aruch, it's in Reish Tzadi, Halacha Beis, and the Shulchan Aruch tells us over here just how we're supposed to spend our Shabbos. Most of us see Shabbos as a day of rest, a day of relaxation, a day where perhaps we could um, sit back and uh, curl up with our favorite uh, novel, with our favorite book, catch up on some reading. Um, the Shulchan Aruch says, Achar Seuda Shachris Koven Midrash Likros Benavim. After the morning meal, the practice was to have a special time to learn Torah. Likros Benavim, Belidrash Bedivri Agada. They used to go back to Shul and have uh, a drasha on uh, an Agada, tells something inspiring. And he says at that point in time, the Shulchan Aruch writes, Asa Likboa Suda Be Oso Shah. One should not set aside and have a meal at that appointed time. Because everyone is supposed to be going back to the shul to hear to hear this drush. And then the Ramah adds, Upo batim. People that are laborers, Balabatim, She'en and Oskim Bat Torah Kol Yimei HaShavua, who don't engage in Talmud Torah all week long, Ya'asku Yoter Bat Torah B'Shabbos. They should actually spend their Shabbos all week long. They're so busy with Parnassa, with work and so forth. So Shabbos for them is a day of rest, a day of rest from the physical work of Parnassa, and they should spend their Shabbos Bat Torah even more than a Tamil Chacham. A Tamil Chacham, who he is working and is learning all week long. He's spending all week long learning. So the Balabas, he should go ahead and spend his Shabbos learning. The Tamil Chacham, who's Osek by Torah, Kol Yimei HaShavua. So the Tamil Chacham, who's he's not having himself uh, fancy meals and is not um, is learning all week long. So the Tamil Chacham, Yamshichu Yoter Ba'oneg, Ba'achila Ushtiak Sas, Darei Heim, Misangim Bilimudam, Kol Yimei HaShavua. Very interesting form relation Ramo has. The Ramo says Shabbos is the day of Oneg. That's what we're supposed to have pl- pleasure, the highest form of pleasure. So he says that Tamil Chacham all week long he has the pleasure of learning. He's in Kolel all week long he has the Oneg. So for him, he needs a little to diversity. Diversity is a spice of life. So he's going to mix it up a little bit. And on Shabbos, he'll engage in Samachila Vishtia, the Oneg, an Oneg, a type of Oneg that he doesn't have all week long. However, the Balabas, who all week long is working, so for him, he should reserve Shabbos for this high form of Oneg, which is, of course, Talmud Torah, and that's how he should spend his time. And again, ideally, this is how one spends a Shabbos, certainly to Mutter a nap and to have some rest, for sure. But to uh, especially for those who don't have the same opportunities in learning during the week because they're so busy. So Shabbos represents a very, very unique time 
for that, and uh, and it certainly um, is some is a way that's the mi'ein olam haba that we are supposed to certainly experience when it comes to Shabbos. In terms of other matters of uh, of hilchos muksa by a klisha malach de lehefter, so just to go f- through a few more common examples, so we have a discussion. What about a broom? Is a broom considered to be muksa or is it not muksa? So the Shulchan Aruch tells us in Simen Shin Ches Halacha Mem Tes. Shin Ches is where you find most of hilchos muksa, and the Shulchan Aruch with respect to a broom writes as follows: Machbedos. If you have a machbeda, a broom, you're allowed to move them on Shabbos. Afilu says the Mishnah Mechamal at sale because they're made, they're permis- permitted to be used. What's he referring to? He's referring to a t- typical broom that you are sweeping your floor with. You're allowed to sweep a floor on Shabbos. That's what the Shulchan Aruch tells us in Simon Shin Lamet Zayin. There is no iser of sweeping on Shabbos. There is an iser of sweeping if you have a non-tiled floor. If you have a floor that's made of dirt, then you have an issue because what emerges is you're being mashvegumos. You flatten out bumpy surfaces.